everyone and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Stan Rutan, and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. Um, on the TV right now, as I'm, I'm kind of watching between, you know, I just got done watching the PGA Championship game and I can never understand why they, well, I get it. All my friends tell me they focus on Tiger Woods because he brought, he brings a lot to golf. That's true. But I get sick and tired of them focusing on him when you got other guys that are way ahead of them. You know, it's just, to, to me, it's ridiculous. Just saying. There's a lot of great golfers out there. I mean, Dustin Johnson's killing it right now. Anyway, uh, we're going to look, just before Washington Wine Month, which is not too, in March is Washington Wine Month, I'm going to do a little 2016 Bordeaux episode. And the reason I'm doing this, now these are all $14 2016 Bordeaux. I've been doing some reading. 15 was a great vintage in Bordeaux, but 16 is better. And it's better for a bunch of reasons. The weather was a little bit uh, more moderate. Um, uh, the, right at harvest time, the weather was perfect. Gave them a chance to control when they harvested the grapes and all of that. So whenever you read up, and you, you don't have to be a wine geek just to look online and say, how is this 16 vintage of Bordeaux doing? And you can read all kinds of things about it if you want. But the exciting thing about it is so far, every 16 that I've tried has been pretty damn good. I'm just saying. And so I'm excited to try these for you guys, and we'll see how they're doing. We're going to get started right away. This is a 2016 Maison Javas. It says number 303 Bordeaux. Um, it rolls in at $14, as I said, 2016. Doesn't give you the varietals on there, which is pretty common for French wines, but still would be nice if you could know what's in there. But you all know the five, you all know, you all know the five grapes of Bordeaux. It's Merlot, Cab, Cab Franc, Petit Verdot, and Malbec. Five grapes of Bordeaux. There's actually six. They used to do Carmenere there as well. But the most, mostly it's Cab Merlot, Cab Franc. Sometimes a little bit of Petit Verdot. Give this a little rinse. I could have done a blind one on these, but I just want to talk about 16. It's so exciting when you get a good vintage. Like 2018, Washington State. And I'm going to be doing a rosé episode for uh, Washington Wine Month. And when you have those 18s, uh, your first glimpse of the vintage will be the rosé. They come out and then you'll get some Sauvignon Blancs um, down the road. You might get some Pinot Gris. Uh, these give you a little insight into the quality of the vintage. Now, a lot of winemakers are very excited about 2018 in Washington State. I'm excited about 16 in Bordeaux. So vintage matters in a lot of places. Of course it does. And it really helps the winemakers to be able to make great wines when the vintage is very cooperative. And a tough vintage, not so easy. But great winemakers, you know, they do the best they can. Let's see what we get on the nose. Getting a little vanilla right off the top, which, you know, I kind of get that. Like that. Vanilla tobacco. A little bit of leather, red flowers there. It's starting to pop now. The vanilla just catches me off guard. Vanilla is a lot of times caused from the oak for sixteen for um, fourteen dollars. I'm not sure how much oak they use on this. We probably use a little bit. I say that because you know oak is expensive. So the more new oak you use, the more money you have to charge. Just say. A little bit of a red brick action. Let's see what we get on the palette. Now, you see, this is exciting. Here you have a $14 Bordeaux. Now, if you're not a Bordeaux drinker, you don't like the old world stuff. My son is just starting to appreciate Bordeaux. He used to hate it. You know, he didn't like the dirty sock, the, the old sweaty uh, leather, sweaty saddle stuff. This has red flowers and a, just a really nice cinnamon hit, which is very exciting. I like it. Very soft tannins. Leather comes through on the back end. Red flowers all day. 
and just a touch of vanilla, uh, not as much on the, on the palate as I got on the nose. I'm digging the, the leather, the red flowers, the cinnamon that came through at first. It's barely there now as it's breathing. And a little bit of vanilla, but this is a pretty good Bordeaux. Not super complex, just delicious and easy to drink, kind of lightweight, but still has all those nice characteristics to it that make it very enjoyable. That cinnamon just hits on the backside now. I'm getting it. I'm digging that. A little close right now. I think it needs a little decanting. I think it'll come out really nicely. I'm going to go B minus on that. I think it's a very solid. A little bit of dirt on the back end. Wet, you know, it has a decent finish. And the back end, you get just a little touch of dirt, which you expect out of a Bordeaux. Kind of your Bordeaux drinker, you'd be disappointed if it didn't have a little bit of that kind of dirtiness to it. This is a good one. Good effort. B minus. Let's move on. This is a 2016 Chateau Les Malou, Milou, Milou, Bordeaux. You know, I could be butchering that. Sorry, guys, if I am. But I think it's Chateau Les Malou, Bordeaux. And this rolls in also at $14. 13.5 alcohol. I think this one was 13. There you go. Let's give it a little rinse. $14 is just such a great price point. I mean, it's one of... One of those price points where, you know, if you don't have a lot of cash, but you want a little Bordeaux, you know, you would, uh, you know, you can afford it. You start getting down to the lower end on Bordeaux, sometimes you get what you pay for. Sometimes, you, you, you know, you don't. Okay, let's see what we get on the nose. Excited about this. I'm very excited. 16s, 14 bucks. Okay, this is a more savory, this has more, this has savory elements. More savory elements on the news. No, more savory. I'm getting a little bit of a, wow, herbs, dried herbs. Leather, a little bit of cherry coming through. A little spiciness on the back side, you can kind of get that. But the herbs are, I wish I could nail the herb. I can't. I can't. Sometimes it just doesn't come to you. And some nice red flower notes coming through as well. Let's see what we get on the palate. Definitely more body than the first one. Nice cherry notes coming through on it, like pureed with leather. Um, kind of not old leather, but not new as well, if you understand what I mean. Tobacco on the back side. Good flow across the palate. Uh, this one needs a little more decanting as well. Just a little tight. But I, I'm telling you, if you want to try Bordeaux for the first time, or if you had a bad experience with some kind of crusty, old, leathery, stinky Bordeaux, this is a great little effort right here. I mean, it just has good cherry fruit, um, mellow tannins, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of leather, a little bit of red flowers, uh, just kind of all that nicely integrated together with a little minerality on the backside to get some kind of a, like a wet stone or no more dry rock coming through on the back end. A tiny hit of vegetal, barely, but it's there. Now, at the back of this, the tannins have a little bit of grip action, which is very encouraging. I like this one. I'm telling you right now, 14 bucks, you get this quality. Because of the vintage and because of the winemaker, that's exciting stuff. So if you want to try a really great Bordeaux, something that really stands out that you really like, this is it. I'm telling you right now, this is it. I'm going B plus, A minus. I just think this is a solid effort. I think it will 
you know, it's drinkable right now. It's not going to age a whole lot longer. I'd give it three to five years, but this is a solid Bordeaux. And I, I like that nice tannic grip on the backside. The only thing that keeps this from aging a little bit longer is it doesn't have the acidity to make it age, but it has good balance, good uh, integration of fruit, minerals, all that stuff. Great effort. Let's move on. Redonkulous, really. 2016, Le Haut okay. de Lagarde Bordeaux, made from organically grown grapes. This is also rolls in at $14. And this gives a breakdown on the back. 65% Merlot, 25% Cab, 10% Cab Franc. Merlot Cab, Cab Franc. There you go, there's a label. Okay. Le Haut de la Garde. 2016 Bordeaux. Now when it just says Bordeaux on it, it's kind of like, you know, Columbia Valley. They can source their fruit from all over that region. Usually it's a, a certain area that they source it from. Entree de Mir or Bordeaux Superior area. This just says Vin de Bordeaux. Of course, they have certain areas where they uh, source the fruit from. It's not from Margot. It's not from Pomerol. It's not from Fransac. Now, this has a kind of a metallic pencil lead metal thing going on on the nose. A little bit of licorice coming through. Very kind of tinny on the nose, which is interesting to me. Get a little tobacco, red flowers. Just a tiny hit of currants coming through. This definitely is the freshest as far as nose goes, as far as aromatics. Let's see what we get on the palate. <laughs> I think I like the second one. This is wild. I mean, on the nose, I expected to get really high acidity. Instead, I get chocolate, licorice, tobacco, currants, nice weight in the mouth, little tiny grip. Big old bad crow went flying across. Sorry about that. Um, tobacco on the finish, little tiny bit of grip. This one had more grip than this one. But chocolate all day, almost a little bit of caramel coming through on the finish. I mentioned licorice and the grip is stronger now on the back side I'd say um, these two right here solid efforts almost like a, a caramel cinnamon thing coming through on the back side of this one um, if you're excited about organically grown grapes that's cool this is a great wine again 16s really shining through I really like this one I like it and it's, it's a toss-up so I'm gonna have to go B plus A minus on this one as well but for $14, and I believe this one can go even lower than that, depending on your buyer or your store you go to. You might even get that, this one down to 12 bucks. Nice red flower hit on the back side of that one. More acidity. This one might age just a little bit longer than this one, but they're both ready to drink now. Give them a couple more years, they'll probably uh, come through a little bit stronger. But excellent, excellent efforts. Uh, B plus A minus for a $14 uh, wine is pretty cool. I think it's very cool. I think these are very awesome wines. All of them drank well. Um, 
They're all super good quality. Seek out that 16 vintage, try it, experiment with it. Even if you have to go in the $10, $12 range, you'll probably be pleasantly surprised. It's a great vintage. A lot of good stuff coming out of there. I hope to do just a step up a little bit later, but for now, we'll stick with these $14, all shining through very nicely. Hook, our, hook up with me on Twitter, at Stan the Wine Man, Instagram, Stan the Wine Man. Subscribe to the channel. I'm getting more and more subscribers, and I really appreciate the comments. You guys are helping me. I know you like the blind episodes a lot. Uh, uh, any input you can give me, anything you'd like to see, just let me know. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You keep watching, and I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.